Hi, this is Zach with the US Stock Highlights here on ShareTalk for Tuesday the 6th of April. Starting off with Air Industries where we've got a break of this late or mid-February resistance line there reverses uh, I suppose $1.40. Uh, also rebound off the 200-day moving average at $1.30 and uh, at least while we're above the 200-day line looking for further upside at least to retest uh, the February peak that was just shy of $2.50. Be cautious on the shares, maybe wait for an end of day close above the 50 day moving average at $1.60. But uh, looks as though with the triple bounce in the uh, sub $140 area, uh, the shares have done enough uh, to prove their technical merit. And also the 200 day line is rising, which should uh, provide upward momentum. Uh, next stock uh, to consider is, uh, is on a rather on a relatively thin day in terms of the um, uh, opportunities on the long side, at least uh, the theoretical ones, uh, is uh, a stock which is um, in the biotech uh, area. Uh, here we've got uh, Brooklyn Immunotherapeutics and uh, the highlight here really the way that uh, we've gapped through the 200 day moving average at $5.07 while we're above that on an end of day close basis we're looking to retest the mid-March peak for the shares at $10.28. And that can be seen over the course of April, maybe by the end of this month. This stage, everybody um, back below the 200 day line, or actually uh, intraday back below the floor of the overnight gap at $4.67, really uh, cancelling the upside scenario. But ideally, the shares remain above $5 and remain above the 200 day moving average. Uh, moving along to a stock which I looked at uh, just a couple of days ago, I believe. Uh, here we've got. Um, Greenwich Life Sciences and uh, here the picture is that uh, we've got a rising trend channel that's been in place since the end of December. Top of the channel heading towards $72 and that's the target for the end of this month while there's no end of day close back below the overnight gap at $42.75. Uh, if you want to tighten up the uh, stop loss then probably $45 at today's intraday low is the place to be. Uh, if you're looking for further confirmation of the upside wait for an end of day close above $52.98 which was last month's intraday peak but uh, all roads there hopefully leading to $72 by the end of next month especially while the gap on the daily chart at Greenwich Life Sciences remains in place. Uh, onto a stock which is um, not exactly a frequent flyer here but uh, here we have Mudrick Capital Acquisition. Uh, here we can see that uh, the shares have uh, delivered a rather massive spike to the upside. Uh, not really much uh, way of uh, I suppose uh, well there was a slight way of predicting it in the sense that there was a, a narrow bear trap below the initial support there the initial support there for the shares um, when they came uh, to market around the uh, uh, $10 level and uh, we had a little uh, probe below $10 to $9.95 so there was a potential buying opportunity there for eagle-eyed observers of the shares but uh, for the rest of us mere mortals uh, the view now is that uh, while we're above today's intraday low at $11.59 looking to the top of the rising trend channel from December as high as $14 by the end of this month on uh, Mudrick Capital. Uh, moving along to uh, another stock which has uh, uh, some uh, technical interest and charting interest at the moment. In fact, uh, one of our favorite setups, the gap through uh, resistance, the gap or the top of the resistance there, that peak, $4.61. So while we're above that on an end of day close basis, looking towards $6.00 at the top of a rising October trend channel uh, and that could be seen hopefully by the end of this month or perhaps well before the end of this uh, this month. On to a stock which is um, uh, looking uh, pretty sprightly as well at the moment, uh, PLBY Group. Uh, uh, we've got the uh, breakout, ongoing breakout with the shares uh, after the uh, clearance of that uh, late March peak at $21.38. Uh, I suppose if you want to tighten up the stop loss and don't want to risk down to $21, then you'd have today's intraday low at $26.05. Above that, on an end of day close basis, hopefully heading directly towards the top of the rising trend channel from the beginning of December at $44. And that could be seen as soon as the end of May. And uh, well, I suppose that the current rate of progress could be seen as soon as the end of this month. Uh, on to Romeo Power, which is the uh, next... Uh, contender in today's um, rather shorter selection than normal here actually uh, to make up for the fact there's a rather short selection we've got a, a a very good setup indeed so we had a bear trap below the march floor there at eight dollars 42 we went down to 
771. We've also uh, got a, uh, so that was a bear trap, a bear trap gap down. And now we've managed to close that gap. End of day close back um, above the uh, top of the gap at $10.73 today, which looks highly likely. Uh, suggests that we should at least head back towards uh, the mid-March peak at $14.61. And that should be seen over the next couple of weeks. Best case scenario target at the moment, I suppose, is up towards $20 which, uh, to be hit by the end of May uh, while we hold above that 1073 level. But it looks like a decent risk-reward trade and a relatively high probability setup for Romeo Power. Onto a stock which I did cover just a few days ago, and uh, here we have uh, the situation uh, now, which is uh, one of progress, obviously, otherwise it wouldn't be here. Sign so Joy uh, holding. Uh, here we've got the situation that uh, the shares managed to hit the top of the rising trend channel, rather ambitious looking target there at $14, uh, done uh, very, very quickly indeed. Uh, we've actually even overshot that target and uh, hit uh, another line of resistance there from March last year. That uh, ties in with today's intraday high at $18.50. And uh, what we're looking for now really is an end of day close back above $14 to take us on to a retest of $18.50 over the course of the rest of April. Upside in place, I suppose, while we're above that old peak, $11.33 uh, from August 2019. That really needs to be held on an end of day close basis for further upside to be seen at least uh, in a direct way uh, following through from today's uh, price action a uh, more simple situation here is uh, takes the form of c spine holdings a gap through the 50-day moving average and uh, while we're above the 50-day line at $18.29 looking towards the top of a rising trend channel from uh, the end of january last year currently pointing as high as 32 dollars to be hit as soon as the end of May. Uh, on to the uh, last stock of the day, which is uh, another stock which we looked at uh, recently. Uh, also another stock which has hit the target, uh, which is nice. Uh, top of age, uh, light, I suppose a late June trend channel there, around $3.60 that was just uh, exceeded by a few cents. And uh, current situation is that uh, still looking for the upside while we hold above the uh, late March peak at uh, $2.75, so above $2.75 looking for 360 plus once again and I suppose the best case scenario target would be to retest uh, June 2020 resistance at $4.29 by the end of this month. That's it for me today, more updates tomorrow.